the economy and retail roaring back this holiday season. Year-end sales up nearly 5% compared to the same period one year ago. So what's driving the surge? Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef. Tonight, a merry and much-needed boost for big retailers. Holiday sales up 4.9%, the highest since 2011. <laughs> Anything on sale? Everything, Everything on sale. A welcome gift for brick-and-mortar companies like Macy's, Gap, and Toys R Us, all announcing store closures this year. This, as online shopping is up 18%. People are feeling way better about the economy than they have in years past, and they are wanting to show that by spending their money. And now the rush to return. $90 billion worth of gifts expected to go back to vendors over the holiday season. What did you return? I, I exchanged one bag for the other, and I actually got some money back. Experts predict nearly half of all Americans will do some post-holiday shopping. Well, now that we see there's uh, some deals, we probably make some purchases, yes. And consumers turning out in droves, some even braving sub-zero conditions like these shoppers in Illinois looking to snag great deals. Stores such as Banana Republic, Gap, even Old Navy, you're seeing discounts of up to 74%. And Ariel joins us live tonight. Ariel, a new trend may be behind part of the spending boost this year. That's right, Tom. The trend of buying online and picking up in stores could be behind the big boost in sales at stores like Macy's. And experts say it could also revolutionize the way we shop in the future. Tom? And a great way to save on those shipping costs. All right, Ariel, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.